Hey guys and gals, so today we're going to talk about snails, and I'm going to let these slow guys keep the spotlight for the day, because they're slow, and we got to help them. So these are snails. In terms of what a species of snail is exactly, I have no idea to be honest, so you all help me out there. There are over 65,000 species of gastropods, and gastropods are mollusks that are in the class gastropoda, which are the snails and the slugs. Snails have shells, and slugs do not. And that shell is with them from birth. That's right, they are actually born with a thin and very soft shell that will grow with them as they grow. They get their own house at birth. I'm so jealous. Slugs don't have a shell, and they don't grow them, and they're not born with them. So they don't get a house. Tough. So when predators attack these little snails, they retreat into their shells and are protected from the birds, raccoons, squirrels, people. Their predator list is quite diverse since there are so many species of snails. Some are very small, and some are very big, like the giant African snail. That's the biggest land snail. They can grow to be about a foot tall and about eight inches long. That's crazy! Something else crazy is they are hermaphrodites, and this means they have both male and female sex organs. So they could reproduce alone, but mostly don't, and they do prefer to go find a cute little mate. Some snails hibernate, some snails eat a bunch, some snails don't. Some snails just do snail things. And some snails even put fear into many people. And not just from molluscophobia, which is the fear of mollusks like snails and slugs. No, 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 no. They fear them for their potency. The cone snail is a very small species of snail that is classified as one of the most venomous creatures on earth. And being so small, they are rarely seen. But if you stepped on one or picked one up not knowing it was so venomous, and it chose to launch its tooth-like dagger, injecting venom into your foot or hand, you would be in for some major trouble. The worst possible scenario is their venom paralyzes you. You go into a coma, or you just straight die when you can't breathe. Sometimes, it's just like a bee sting. Depends on exact species of cone snail, but yeah, I'd still avoid them, to be honest. Now back to our land snails. Way nicer, way calmer, and of course, slow. A snail of this size can go about half an inch a second, so they could get like 50 yards in an hour if they didn't stop at all. And while they move, they leave a thin clear trail of mucus. This helps prevent friction while they're dragging across the ground in slow motion. And I mean slow motion. I love you guys. Bye.